Hey everybody, this is Gabe Gonzo from Crypt Mode Squad coming to you with a short video tutorial of how to install a mod pack into your Multi MC software. What I'm doing here to start off with is having Multi MC open, and I'm going to want to click the button here to create a new instance. Uh, the new pop up asks you what you want to name it. Um, I guess we can just give it, uh, we'll call it any name dash one. We can skip the group for now, and I said for a different time. Um, click the little three buttons here next to what you see now is 1.8.7 and we want to change the Minecraft vi version to 1.7.10. Click on that, click OK, uh, depending on the speed of your machine it'll download something and then pop up with the new instance there. From here we're going to install, we're going to click on edit instance and you're going to want to click on the button here that says install forge it should pop up with a gold star recommended level which is forge version 10.13.4.1448 once you see that you click OK and then you're going to want to come to the settings tab real quick from here you want to click on the button that says Java installation and you want to auto detect the versions of Java you have installed in your machine um, a lot of people are going to have different versions installed um, right now I have version Java version 0.8 and two different versions of Java 0.7. Um, I have 64-bit, I have 32-bit. Uh, for here, you want, you're going to want to have Java version 7. If your machine is, more, is built on a 64-bit platform or 64-bit Windows or 32-bit, um, pick the 64-bit. If you're not sure to be safe, go on the 32-bit side, um, which usually tells you here in the architecture column here. So we're going to want to pick the Java 7, 64-bit, click OK, and then on memory, we want to bump up the memory a little bit. Right now, the maximum memory that, that Minecraft can use is 1 gig. We want to double that to at least 2 gigs at this point, which should be about 20, 48 megabytes. Um, now, this number is going to change. It's the maximum amount of memory that, that Minecraft is allowed to use. Um, it's going to going to depend on your PC specs. Um, if you don't know how much memory you have in your PC, there's a few different ways. You can Google it real quick. There's a bunch of quick short tutorials and shortcuts um, that I'm not going to go through right now. Um, but what you want to do is kind of have your max memory allocation for Minecraft set at half of your total PC RAM uh, structure. So if you have 4 gigs of RAM on your machine, you want to set it to 2 gigs. If you have 8 gigs of RAM, you want to set it to 4 gigs. Um, you don't want to go more than half because Windows, the operating system and stuff and all the little background things going on use a good amount of it and you want to give yourself some space so that you don't crash your PC just to play Minecraft. It's not a good thing. It's not worth it. Um, next column down is PermGen. You want to bump that up to 256 and what that is is that's the amount of, that's the size of the blocks of memory that, that Minecraft can use. Um, from here you click close um, actually what you can do before you click close you can click test it'll test Java real quick with a minor script letting you know that Java test was successful then you're gonna want to double click the new anytime instance and you're gonna see this Minecraft log here this is a console that is built um, through multi MC to let you know all the stuff running going along in the background and then within a few seconds pow Minecraft video uh, window pops up, main menu, everything looks normal, tells you the version, um, tells you a few things running around in the background, uh, tells you the Forge version, um, this is a different Forge version uh, that's attached to Forge, this is the true Forge that we picked which is a 10.13.4.1448, um, and everything else is good. Once you get to here, you can pretty much quit the game. Now, while having your new name highlighted, you're going to want to click on Instance Folder. And what this will do is it'll pop up the folder of all the files associated with your specific instance. So every instance that I have here has its own set of folders that has its own settings, configuration, mods installed, etc., etc. So once we open up the folder, we're going to want to double click on Minecraft folder. And you're going to see here a bunch of pre populated folders that were generated when we first launched. The anytime instance. Um, yes, we installed Forge. We didn't install any mods yet, but now that Forge is up and running and got some of the files that it needed, it create, gave us a nice little folder structure to play with. Now, from here, uh, the first thing you want to do is open up the, the resource packs. 
And then what I did was um, going through the Freaks Gaming blog. I just updated it a few seconds ago. Uh, so you'll be able to click here and that'll get you to the Google Drive files of the three folders you need, which is the config.zip, mods.zip, and resourcepacks.zip. Um, I already went ahead and downloaded the, the three files onto my desktop. And then what I did is I opened them or, and extracted them right here, right below it. So each file is a zip folder which are, with, with the actual real folder that you want to use underneath it. And these are the folders we're going to use to update our Minecraft instance. So we go back, we're in our Minecraft folder within our any name dash one instance. So we click on resource packs and you notice to make sure it's empty. So what you can do is if you have Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, you should be able to just right click and drag the resource pack over here to copy. Now once you hit copy, it's going to ask you real quick, do you want to replace the one or two files that are in there? You click yes. Same thing with mods and configuration. You can do them one at a time. You can drag your mouse and highlight both of them and then right click and if you look at the screen you'll see that it's dragging both folders into this Minecraft folder. Once you let go of the right click you have the options to copy, move, create shortcuts or cancel. You're going to want to copy those as well and you're going to see replace folder and everything's good to go. To verify everything, you can just double click on config and you should see a ton of different folders um, and configuration files based on you know what's in the mod pack itself. Same thing with mods, tons of files in there, and resource packs, you should definitely see the crypt mode hyphen splash folder in your resource packs folder. Once all that is there, you can pretty much close this out. Go back to your any name dash one instance. You're gonna want to click edit instance one more time come to your window here and when you click on loader mods it's now going to be populated with everything that's in the mind that is in the mod pack the only thing that should be unchecked at this point right now is your opus this is a server side only piece of information but some configuration files are still needed right now um, so it's still in there but you want to make sure that is unchecked which it is by default then you go to your resource packs it should pick up automatically the crypt mode dash splash resource pack is in there Worst case, you can click Add, uh, and you can go, you can navigate to it, but it should automatically show up there. And then Notes, Screenshots, you haven't done any screenshots, Settings, we've already gone through, and everything should be good to go. Click on Close, double-click any name, and you'll see that it, it opens up, once again, the MC console, where it starts loading up all the information and all the configurations for the actual mod pack. Now, I'll drag this over in a second. But the actual Mojang uh, primary window for Minecraft will pop over and it will start loading a ton and ton of stuff. Um, it is a pretty big mod pack. Give it about 2-3 minutes. It does load up. Once it's loaded up, you'll be working fine. And then you come to your uh, main Minecraft page. Uh, the main menu looks pretty similar as everything else has. Um, and then to get started, you can see uh, the version of Minecraft you're on, the version of the crit pack that you're currently running, the number of mods. Um, and then from here, you just click on multiplayer. Um, I already have uh, one information, one server saved in here, but basically what you would do is you would add server, you name it anything you want, you put your IP address in here, click done, and it'll add it to this list here of multiplayer servers that you can play on. And then once you join, you'll be loaded up and you'll be good to go. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you have the crypt pack set up. You have the files correct in the uh, the correct locations. You launch Minecraft. It's loaded all the configurations. Uh, you go right to your multiplayer section. Um, add a server in here to where you want to go to, and that that takes care of everything as far as loading up a mod pack into the multi MC. So you can jump on the uh, the crypt mode server. All right. Uh, thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to put some at the bottom of the uh, YouTube page. And uh, hope to see you guys soon. Later.